Um, thanks for letting me to present my thesis here today. It's about the relationship between the uh, Gulf of Mexico hurricanes and particular matter. Oh. Uh, the particular matter, which is commonly known as the PM 2.5, uh, can cause by various sources such as volcano eruption, agriculture burning, motor vehicles. Specifically, in our state, we have sugarcane burning every year around the hurricane season, which adds more particulate matter into the air. So this is a very impo important project for Louisiana. First, I used real data to analyze 35 hurricanes with the particulate matter, which is the PM 2.5. Then I got, got two results. The first one is the hurricane tracks tends to avoid the polluted area with the highest PM 2.5 concentration, such as the tropical storm clean in on the left. We can see the track stay in the blue and avoid the red. And another result is uh, when the high, uh, high upper airflow is very strong, the hurricane inevitably enters the polluted area. It will weaken very quickly and uh, even dissipates, such as the hurricane lily on the right. Sorry, not get used to those. And uh, then I did a model simulation on one specific hurricane lily. We can see before it entered the polluted area, the horizontal structure and the vertical structure and its strength are both very strong and intact. But after it passed through the polluted area, we can see the vertical structure on the right is start to collapse and the pressure start to roll, uh, rose. And uh, finally, uh, I decided to do uh, another model simulation to see how the storm reacts with and without the PM 2.5 impact which should give us more details about this problem. Thank you.